And welcome, y'all, to Zen Chaos. I am Dean. That, of course, me in the virtual world, the yin and the yang. Is he pure chaos or is he just pure calm? Who knows? No one knows. It's my main man, Zen. How you doing today? Hot. I'm hot. I was just outside of my daughter get situated in the pool. It's hot. It's hot. It is hot. It is hot. And you know what's speaking of hot? It's hot in the damn kitchen for the Supreme Court. Uh, no matter how you want to look at it, one way or the other, um, that it is. Let's get let's let's just get let's just get right on into it. So, for folks who don't know, um, Roe v. Wade has been overturned uh, by the Supreme Court. That went down. What was it, six to three? If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. it was a, Yep, it was. It was yeah, uh, six to three. It went. It, it was overturned six to three. Um, we're in a different world now. That we are. We're in a very different world now. And I know there are going to be some people listening. They're going to be like, well, Dean, don't you know that abortion is not illegal federally, that there are still states that do allow it? But there were like, I think, what was it, 15 to 13. 20 state? 13? Six. I think there's 13 where it's going to virtually be a no-go. Already. Already. Yeah. I know like Alabama. It's, they, not, yeah. it's not set in stone exactly, but now that it's been overturned there's trigger states that are that have the trigger laws as yeah. soon as this can be enacted it is and so it's, uh, no circumstances that aren't medically something but that's it it's not is, medically health it's medical life saving for the parent type thing then it's a no-go we so this is um and I understand that's what people are going to say. And they're going to say, well, they can go ahead and go to the states that do offer it and do allow it. Well, it's going to be rough for some people. And then certain people, they're going to be doing them illegally. And I know another point that folks are going to say. They're going to be like, well, that's what they were talking about, the guns. We try to tell them that. Like, if you ban it, it doesn't mean that people aren't going to go get it. We understand that. All I'm stating is that we need to think about this. If the Supreme Court could go ahead and then we're just overturning precedents that were embedded within American history since I like like for at least the past 50 years. And then everybody's talking about, oh, they're constitutionalists, they're constitutionalists, they're constitutionalists. Well, constitutionalists fucking would not approve of fucking Clarence Thomas. Excuse me. The original the individuals who wrote the Constitution would not approve of Clarence Thomas on that goddamn uh, 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 bench. They wouldn't want him on there. They wouldn't want um, what's the what's the what's the uh, Amy? They wouldn't want her on there. Like they, like they, this, it wasn't who that's for. So we need to be careful when we're picking and choosing when we're going to go ahead and enact this because when, what's next now? Because oh, they vote. That's uh -huh. the, I, I don't like the what's next because that goes on that whole slippery slope type thing where I don't. It, it to me it can go both ways when it comes to that type thing where they're like, oh well, if we legalize it, then what's next? We're going to legalize. Uh, relationships with kids like same thing like the line that they tried to go down with oh if we legalize gay marriage so it's like there is a slippery slope element to it but mm -hmm. I don't I at least don't like going down the going down that route I just like looking at like this is what we've done now like do we really understand what we've actually done now I understand what you're stating but according to our good friend Thomas Right. He said, I write separately to emphasize a second, more fundamental uh, reason why there is no abortion guarantee lurking in the due process clause. As I have previously explained, substance, sub, substantive uh, due process is an oxymoron that lacks any basis in the Constitution. Uh, life, liberty or property has no bearing on what those rights actually encompass. The text of due process clause itself, he says, therefore does not secure any substantive rights, including right to abortion. For that reason, he argues the Supreme Court should re reconsider all of the court's substantive due process precedents, right? Then, uh, you know, the argument which Thomas, uh, you know, made in previous uh, writings, uh, basically what he ends up stating in there is, he says, you have to look at Griswold, you got to look at Lawrence, you got to look at... Um, Obergefell versus Hodges. And then also when you look at them, you're going to have to then, you have to then return, you have to overturn them. It would be the court's duty to overturn them. That's what that man said. I'm paraphrasing a bit of it, but that's what that man said. So when we're saying that what's next, <clears throat> Clarence already told us what's next. Those are all in relation to other things, I'm assuming. 
all of the no, cases those are no out. those, but those cases. So those cases would be going for uh, you know, the right for you know, gay marriage. All right, yeah, yeah all right. So I it would be sodomy. It. it would be it would be sodomy, oral sex. Uh, this one, you know, so sex, yes, all that it, shit. In and, fairness, and your response applies to somebody like him, where he is trying to shoot for. All right, cool. We overturn this one. Let's go down the line and start. Yeah, so it fits for someone like him who's trying to push for it. Now, so I'll, I'll stand and I'll retract that. It's, it's we would what you remiss. retract with works for him. We would be remiss because you know, in that in that uh, opinion piece, he is the only one to write that particular part. So the other justices allegedly do not have the same line of thinking. That's mm-hmm. what. It is signaling to us, but then who fucking knows? Because when they were all under oath, you know, when there was asked about Roe v. Wade, they all said that they would not be looking to overturn it one way or another in a roundabout way. But then I have to, but then it also begs the question before I shut the fuck up and kind of let you go. Um, you, you know, if you're a Democrat, how mad are you? Can you, how mad can you not be at Democrats for codifying this? Mm-hmm. And now it's supposed to be, look, you need to start looking at some other things like, what are you going to start codifying? They, they, What's they up? could have stepped up and done more to yes. not allow this to happen, and they well, did. We've it. already had the time, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's you really didn't care, you wanted this to happen. Why I don't know, but I'm listening. I don't, I don't know, I don't know why. In a six, I don't get how you get a six three vote if you are split on it kind of thing. Like how, how do you, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain. What do you mean? Just in the sense of where the Democrats were in regards to this, like why, why, well, could, oh, how, how, we, how we how got to this point? Not in even, well, how are you not even out well, with, or remember, even just. So, so one, you had the one Republican judge who retired under Trump, got him a pick. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Ginsburg dies. You get another pick. Then um, was no, there another retirement? Was there about. another retirement or death? I fr- oh yeah, there was a death under Obama. He was never able to choose it because Mitch McConnell then mounted up this huge fucking um, thing, saying basically like "fuck out of here." He's about to leave. That's the next president's duty. Yada yada yada. All mm-hmm. that kind of shit. The Democrats end up folding to it, and then Trump ends up getting that. So Trump, that's why Trump got the three picks. And Ginsburg then that's where we been need, retired. That's where we need now an extra seat because everybody there is there, and you can't get rid of them. So they, yeah, but you that, need extra but, seat to try and balance things out. But, no? but what's going to happen is you do have one one um, conservative justice retiring, and then now you have uh, you know Justice Brown joining. But then this is the uh, this is the larger issue with the whole conversation: the fact that we're even having a conversation about justices and where they lead politically. Mm-hmm. There, well, you there should not be anyway. any political ramifications. Right. They need. They just need to be straightforward to the fact. What is it? Let's con- let's 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 do this whole thing. Right. Where in this one, it seems like there was a have, political leaning that played into which side you guys voted on on we, this. And then it was it was just as Amy. She was a she was a part of some super PAC, a part of some organization who they wanted to gut Roe v. Wade this whole time. So what did you think that she was going to end up doing? Mm-hmm. And then we also really truthfully ha- barely have any checks and balances in regards to the Supreme Court because you have it begs to it begs to ask you have to ask the question why has Clarence Thomas has not had to recuse himself from anything dealing with with with, with the whole Trump proceedings and and the January six um you know goddamn Capitol uh, uh storming right. storming when his wife was all up in there associated with with with, with the whole thing like there is no checks and balances in regards to the Supreme Court. I've always thought it was funny that, that they ended up getting a lifetime um, appointment mm-hmm. when I was younger. I was like, oh, these motherfuckers have stayed there for a lifetime? Shit changes. The same right. way we look at these politicians on the Hill, man. We, you need to be Things term limits you all around. Why are you there? Yeah, why would you be there for a lifetime? That's This is what Tesla was bringing up in one of her live, live streams where she's like, these people are lifetime appointments. Like People out here like, oh, we need to replace this person. It's like they're lifetime appointments. You can't. They die there. Yeah. It's not, and to me, it's not one of those jobs that you really get fired from unless you do some wild stuff. Like you got to, to me, it's like kind of like my job where you've got to, you really got to go over the top to get removed from your position. Mm-hmm. So that's what she's like. Huge- you need to expand. You need to expand and add an extra person because something's not right here. If you guys 
in a sense, are showing your political bias they without are, calling a political this bias. This whole thing is there's nothing but political biases when it comes to the court. And then this is they, – they, there's obvious leanings politically where mm -hmm. they're going. And this is not something that we need. And once again, I want to reiterate. Why are they there for a lot? Like Ginsburg should have retired under Obama, should have retired before then. First of all, why are they able to die in office? You can't be right. functioning cognitively at a high level and then still die in office. That doesn't, right. that's an oxymoron. It doesn't happen that way. Between that and then there's just a natural, we are going to lean more into where we stand the older we get. You're less likely to be open to new things or checking out new perspectives the older you get, it'll just, uh, this is the law. This is how we've always interpreted it before. Goes. This is, this is what we're going to do. So for the, in a sense, for the fact that they are reinterpreting now is a bit strange to go in and say, Oh, we're going to reevaluate this and say that we looked at it wrong before. So we're going to overturn this. That's strange well, considering what they are actually overturning. But and then also too, considering the way that Thomas wrote that dissent piece, oof. Loving and Virginia, motherfucker. I, 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 and I understand Loving and Virginia came before all of this. So obviously that has a super precedent. But why? You know it can easily turn that way. Like, bro, like look in the mirror. Player. Mm. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, especially when you're writing some of these pieces. That's the like, one uh, interracial marriage, right? Is that what that uh -huh. was? Is that yeah. the interracial marriage one? Yeah. That's one where, yeah, you're pushing back. I'm like, do you realize, like, you guys are making the same arguments that these people made? Like, you, you, if you don't know history, you're bound to repeat it. I'm confused. Way. And I, and this is stuff that I'm like, I don't know. So, me as a general person, I'm like, I probably fit the description of the majority of the country. And then the people that I hear that push back, like, oh, this is what we need. This is the direction we need to go. And it's like, well, then, if I was to read off the reasoning that they use to say that you can't get married to somebody of a different race, would you agree that those reasons alone by themselves are then good reasons? Because this is what you're taking and applying here. But you don't think it's okay to do here, but here it is. Like, I... It, there, are, there, are, there are certain people, and then, there, then there's also another sector of the population that we have to address. There's a whole sector of the population who agrees with this ruling for one reason and one reason only is because they want a smaller federal government. So they believe that the power needs to be more so in the state's hands. But then once again, there are certain, there are certain rights that should, and they need to be protected un, undeniably. Mm -hmm. Like I, I personally, like I, once again, I don't have a horse in a race. I'm fucking sleeping with a man right now, but I got family members. I got friends who are women. If they decide that they want to get an abortion. Up until a certain point, it was 15 weeks. I think that they should have that right. Mm -hmm. I believe that they should have that right. I don't, I, I just, I just don't. You know what I mean? That's not something I would necessarily choose. You know what I mean? But I, mean, I wouldn't step up and say, you can't choose. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not my, that's, that's not feel. my business. That is not my business. You know what I right. mean? Because, you know, these same individuals who keep championing about morality and they keep championing about, you know, we're saving babies left and right. So the same individuals who, who and, you know, I understand, it's, you know, it's an overused talking point, but it's the truth. You motherfuckers don't give a damn about these kids. No. You could give a fuck about these kids. When no. the kids are actually out, you aren't actually one out there supporting these WIC programs. You wanted to fund them. You want to gut them. You're you not out here looking at the public assistance because then you talk about all the welfare queens. Mm-hmm. You put so, down the society that you're trying to now force into having kids. Granted, people in higher status do it too. But the larger majority are probably people of lower income. I have a question. Look at our look at our adoption cycle. Look at Terrible. the foster care system. It's mm -hmm. horrendous. So are we going to revamp and update these laws? Huh? So this is one where are we going to actually start giving a shit about to. the kids that we already you have, you have to. to. We have no choice homes. now. To, have, there is no option. It's you have to revamp those you have to same, fund them. You then have to fucking, give. But then these same people don't want these programs. They don't want those. They don't want the textiles going to these social programs. No, which is that's where it's like okay. So, so then like, if you're oh, going to force these things on people, how are you going to mitigate this part? 
How are you going to mitigate the mental health element? Even not even I'm not even specifically just talking for rape people because that's where when I saw this point brought up, that's what it was brought up in reference to. It's like, are you now going to offer free mental health care to any victim that is raped, impregnated, and forced to carry that baby to term? Whether Shit. they're giving it up for adoption or not, are you now going to provide them in a sense with lifetime coverage for your medical, for your mental health? Aside from that, the people who just I don't want a kid happen to get pregnant, you now need mental health coverage too. Why? Because you don't want this child, but can't do anything about it because you live in Texas. But we would be we would be remiss. We would be remiss if we did not state that we understand that there are going to be accidents that happen, but then also two people like you can make sure the pull-out game is strong. You can use condoms, but then also too, if 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 you listen to fucking Clarence Thomas and they go after contraceptives, then you're fucked there. You're going to have to hope that your pull-out game is strong. But what I'm stating is that there does have to be some responsibility on just like, okay, like you have to know what you're doing. And then when you know what you're doing, these are the consequences that do happen with sex. Yes. You yes. out here having there sex is. unprotected, shooting the club up. Then there's a chance you're going to get fucking pregnant. And I shouldn't really feel bad about you. Be like, oh, I don't want the kid. Then you should have been a little more responsible in that regard. Doesn't mean that you still should there, not have yeah. the right to get an abortion. I'm not stating that. But what I'm stating is that it's like, it's still, it, it does make you a bit of a piece of shit. If it's not a true accident, if you're just out here wilding with with, with no yeah. precautions, I'm, yeah, I'm not I'm not one that's a supporter of. We would be remiss if we didn't say that we're, I'm getting going. an abortion because I'm just I just don't want and I don't care. I'll I get the don't club think, shot up type thing. Like I'm going to do nothing to prevent it. I don't and, think like, that those kind of women weird. are. I, excuse me. I don't think that there's a vast majority of women out there that okay. that fall under that either, though. Because, no, because I, I don't either. I believe that abortion is a very traumatizing thing. I don't think that women just willy nilly are just going there just to get right. abortions. I think that that narrative is bullshit. But I would be remiss if I still didn't state that. That, that there are it. people who do it. It's 100%. not. A, it's not a. You don't happen at all. Like no, you do. You're just not the. You're not the bulk of the group. It's it's, all, it's a, largely like a calculated. I really thought this through. I don't want to do this, but I feel like I need to and. It is what it is. But I do at, to admit that at the very beginning, this is one thing where when it first happened, I looked at it like, oh, this means nothing. This is just, it's now going to leave it in the state's hands and the states then have to actually decide. But like we mentioned at the very beginning, there are those trigger states, which was this happening means that, yes, now in my state, this is as good as gone as an option. Bro, it gives you pause your... Um, I think Virginia. Look, Missouri. So, so in Missouri, There's a lot of middle states, Texas, oh yeah. and the southern states in Missouri. You know, what Missouri yeah. now has in their shit because I think that they had they were under that, that that trigger laws as well. But their shit states is that like, hey, not only can you not get an abortion in our state, you can't travel to another state to, to get other abortion. states. That's messed up. So now, but that's a pure conflict now. We're going to have to go back to court. You're going to... To the same court. You're extending now past, like, you have to carry this child to you now also can't travel and get a procedure done anywhere else because we control you in that sense. We know where you got pregnant or where you reside. So despite having done it in... Say you traveled for six months to a state where it's fine. It happened there. You got pregnant there. And try and get your abortion. Is it because, oh, I'm a resident of this state here. I can't do this. I didn't travel to get the abortion. I got pregnant while I was traveling and got an abortion in a place where it was legal to get it done while I was in the middle of that traveling. So now am I not allowed to because I'm a resident of Texas? Or I'm a resident of this state that sets the stipulation that says I can't travel to another one to get. Does this mean that state doesn't sell plan B pills? Are we moving that from there? Well, if you if if they go off the contraceptives, then yeah, that would be off the table. If they go for all contraceptives, yeah. But yeah, the plan yeah. B isn't the contraceptive. This isn't after. This is you're getting an abortion quick. So then you would have to get that off. But then also, too, you have to, but then it begs the question now, is HIPAA gonna get violated? Because how would you know if somebody got pregnant and got the abortion? Or now are they gonna start enacting laws like Texas where you can have neighbor against neighbor? So if you assume someone got an abortion, you can just snitch on them, or if you see someone's getting a ride somewhere, you can like well, how does this go? Yeah, they're gonna be violating, they're gonna be really deep in your business. So now so 
<laughs> you Listen, wanted I was a guy, and now you're gonna get them deeper now you're into your personal more life. Fucking government in your fucking life, just which like is their the whole, last thing anybody wants to do. Just like your boy, the dude you mentioned, wants to. They potentially enact sodomy laws again, or potentially enact, or just the you can't go down on your partner. You're not allowed to in your own bedroom, in your own relationship. You are not allowed illegal. to go down How on your partner because this type on of your fucking life. And but we want smaller government. We want well, less government, and this is what they're trying to implement. You want, want less government, government in your in life, bedroom. like literally in your bedroom. That'd be like saying we have to record you now at all times to make sure that you never do this act. Also, to, like the same way I said that, you know, I think that you know the ma- the forced COVID vaccinations were bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know, my body, my choice. The same thing with this. Mm-hmm. And I understand people are going to state is that oh, this is you know. You know, hey, this is different just because, like, you know, this is affecting a life that has no that has no chance. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, no one's speaking up for it. We have to speak up for it. You know, these other laws, uh, you know, they're they are in regards to people, you know, full grown consenting adults, yada, yada, yada. Still, we're, we are here now. Mm-hmm. We're here now. We are here now. And then right after this happens, what happens in another 50 years? They start repealing other shit. I almost see more of this getting flipped back before other things got repealed. Who knows? I don't know. I don't. I don't I know because do I do because first of all, the Democrats aren't aggressive enough in their approach. That's true. That is true. We back off to things real quick. Or we get past you a Democrat and run. No. So why you keep I saying mean, we? I know you ain't talking about me in that we. So who are you talking about? No. Because yeah. I lean more Dem. Even though I'm still don't, don't mean you're here. a Democrat. I'm no, I just so they well, libertarian technically. I'll say they they give up on things quick. They do. There you go. They get pacified and then they're like, all right, cool. We'll move on to the next shiny little thing that might be exciting. Mm-hmm. But what I find mm-hmm. most interesting is you're forcing people now to have babies, and right before doing that, you're like, eh, we don't have time to try and extend feeding them. In school, like free lunch during a, what we're still in is a pandemic. We can't come to nah, an to extend those programs. Those programs are a waste of money, Zen. Those programs yeah. are a waste of money. Why would we feed kids who are already alive who need help? No, we need to we need to help these, like you know, these unborn kids. But then also, too, the question now becomes what happens to those IVF centers with all the frozen embryos? Because those 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 are lives now. So what happens to them? Do you have to bring all of them to term? Mm-hmm. Or do you terminate? The, do you murder them all? What's up? This is where There's we a at. lot that gets blended in here. That it's like, uh, and a lot of those people who are talking about, and, and guess what? There's a lot of those people who are like, hey, we're gonna ban the abortion. We're gonna do all that. Hey, guess what? Now a lot of those same people going. They need IVF. They 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 need that in vitro. How y'all gonna feel now? Can you? Will you be able to have your kids? The sick because part the, what, happens to the unfro- what happens to the unused ones? You can't terminate them. You right. Can't. You got to kind of leave them You got to bring them all. You got to somehow find a way to preserve them all forever. No, not preserve them. You got to bring them to term. I mean, you can't. No, no. It it's that. a life. Fuck you. you. It's a life. It. There, there, it's there's a that life. element that plays in that. It no, 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 no. I don't want to hear none of that shit, Zen. It's a life. That entity is a life. Am I wrong? No. In their mind, because no. it's ready to go at that point. Am I correct? I'll say in their mind, no. It's ready. It's ready. Is it not ready to go? It's already. Be, it's basically the bait. It's basically like a little baby ready to get go, right? For the kind IVF of. shit. Kind of. Let's look at it. Let's look it up, bro. Yeah, it's like it's one of those like it's a egg that you're ready to attach as long and as the it procedures that help conceive. It still uh, requires uh, like a co- body cooperation thing that you can't call. It's still like that hit or miss, may or may not work. Yeah, well, the same thing. The same thing with the baby during certain stages of it. Yeah, that's what I they, know. that's what they kind of mis- miscarriages, right? So then yeah, now that baby's got to be bought to terms. Then I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. So that's one of the sick ones. Is oh, the, you froze if on it me, does, I'll be back. If it does, if you are going to have a stillbirth, you still have to carry it like that. For some women who were just all right, it's going to be a stillborn. I can abort this now. It's like now you technically can't. You still have to carry it out and birth a stillborn, like your child who's not going to make it. So you can't abort it. That's 
From what I heard, yes. I read somewhere. It's one of those I read it somewhere thing. You sure? I feel as if they would. It was that. incorporated. It was one of those incorporated in those rant posts. That's aggressive. So like the being forced to still birth your. Ah, you know, maybe a certain, I don't know. Uh, so maybe it was just a blended bad rant. I'll yeah, call yeah it probably was a rant. Retract. And, yeah, or yeah, retract. I yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. I don't think they're gonna do that to them. Um, this is ultimately. It, it's though. you would you would think you wouldn't, but that's what people are calling for. Oh, there are certain states who do. Who? Oh, I forgot the states too. That said, that you're gonna have to keep the baby no matter what how you conceived it. Con- I mean, how you conceive it? Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't care. They don't care if it was incest, rape, nothing. They don't care about what age you are. They don't care about the fact that they're like brought up of a uh, forcing a 16 year old who is abused is going to now ruin their life in a sense because they are not going to be able to finish school normally. They are not going to be able to grow up and develop in a normal way by something that was at in zero way a fault of their own. So that's one of those. There's a ton of states who don't. So many. I Oh, my gosh. There's a lot. What? That force you to have to bring it to turn no matter what? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the rant. I have to find the rant just to see. What there are a lot. Doing. It's disgusting. It is disgusting, people. Like, but ultimately, this is where we're at. Hey, people, everybody's talking about, oh, it doesn't matter to vote, doesn't matter to vote. Suck my dick. I've I'm right, I've been right. Listen, I was already talking to Justin. Even if they overturn all that gay rights shit, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know how they I don't see how they work. it'll be rough. It'll be rough for them. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck people are going to break that i could easily see everybody just pushing back on it i don't know like what you're going to do how how you gonna do it oh i don't know i don't know i don't know know. what are you going to do i don't know what they're going to take the the only the only way the only way you could do it is if you say hey the heteros have marriage and the lgbtq plus community has unions it's the only way it works somewhat even still, then you still gonna have a fight. People want to be defined as marriage, but that's the only way. That's the only way it could possibly work. And then, obviously, a, a union or a marriage, you still get the same. There's, there's no difference. There's no difference. Oh, I know, but I'm just stating that that's because people. Could, well, if we're if if we're talking about legally, we're going to get into definitions. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, historically, the definition of a marriage has been you know the union between a man and a woman. So you would just change it to union or. I don't know something else that's if they want to do it. It doesn't matter for, like our household, we don't give a fuck. You're gonna tell us what we do in our household, even mm-hmm. if it's illegal. What are y'all roommates? You know, yeah, it used to be not anymore. Went to a conversion therapy. Straight as a whistle. <laughs> just my best friend. I don't like gay. I'm not gays no more. I'm I don't not, like men's no more. I don't like the half of me that like men. I, I snuffed them out. And I choked him out, and I'm just a hundred percent about this. Just look at the motherfucker too. Like, can you prove it otherwise? <laughs> you know. But then also too now, you know. How hey. would it look back? In but then like, also, you know this is the same Supreme Court who's now made it easier for, for for police to get around, like you know, with the whole damn Miranda and like you know, suing them uh, for not properly Mirandaizing you. It's just fucking baffling. So then who knows the police they will get into. Probably you'll have police drones who can look into your house and see what the fuck you're doing. But I know why I would call you out for saying Punani. I would be like, you know what? You lying. Punani. <laughs> like, you lying. You lying. Nobody says that anymore. <laughs> well, nah, because you know what it is, though? Because I'm, I'm an old school brother. So I say a whole bunch this of old, true. like, this you true. know. But you don't look old, so it don't fit. I don't know. True. I know, yo, those people do be looking at me crazy. Like, what the fuck did you like, just say? You heard You me don't. Playing? Obviously, you don't. You know what I mean? Keep on keeping on. You know what I mean? As long as you know the dirt, you know what I mean? Listen, listen. That grass growing under you, you moving, grooving, grooving, and moving. You be all right now. Keep it funky. Keep it pushing. You never got... Listen, listen. You never look behind you. Now, um, that's all I got to say on it. There's really nothing, you know, don't really want to beat a dead horse too much, but um, effectively... We'll if any other states change their minds. Shit's about to get real. Um, Let's see if some states codify it into law. 
uh, you know, to to protect abortions, and also some states will codify it that they do not and they will not, uh, you know, constitutionally protect, uh, you know, abortion rights within their within their states. Let's see if they do it for gay rights and everything else. Um, we'll see if the Democrats in those Democratic run states really can put their money where their mouth is. Because it's funny, because right now a lot of them are saying. We need donations to fill up coffers and we need your help. And we pledge to do this. And this is what they're doing. This is what they're doing. No motherfuckers. You were elected by your representatives and put in office to push forth a message. Somebody tell me what is the last bill AOC has put forth that has passed. Don't worry, we'll wait. <laughs> what is the last thing that Nancy, what is the last bill that Nancy Pelosi just put forth that was able to actually pass that was meaningful for the people that what was really needed? Hmm? I was going to say, didn't she put forth something that was trash? Like her. So listen, those are just quick two examples, but the Democratic parties look at themselves and they look at their strategy and, and really start to understand that people are tired of hearing your bullshit and tired of hearing you say you got to get out and vote, get out and vote. Well, hell, guess what? A lot of you motherfuckers were voting in office and you're still not doing a doing damn shit. thing. You're not doing what the people want to do. Joseph Biden, this country looks like shit under you. You are a goddamn joke. I've been, listen, I didn't like you anyway. I've been telling people not to vote for yeah. your ass, but the fact that you now have a damn post-it card that needs to tell you what to do. You sit, you stand, you say this, you do that. What the fuck are we doing with this country? Gas costs goddamn five dollars a gallon. Food $10 is in LA. Ten dollars in LA. Food is through the motherfucking roof, and 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 prices are and we're running out of it. And we're running out of it, and they're going to continue to rise. You mm -hmm. tell me anything about this that is supposed to be a winner positive for the Democrats? Yet y'all are in office. You're actually. You are paving the road for either Donald Trump or goddamn DeSantis. I am Dean. Any closing words by you, my brother Zen? It's hot. It's hot. And it's about it's to hot. get a whole lot hotter. It's about Peace to get out, hotter. motherfuckers. Hey. <laughs>